everybody welcome back thank you for joining me for another video um you guys are so far away um and unfortunately i can't even get all these three canvases in the same shot um so i apologize that you can't see part of this canvas and just the you know top of the corner there um i do have a second phone recording uh, the side panel and then when I do this panel I'll move it to this side so that way you guys can at least see a close-up um, of these when I'm blowing them out um, they're just too big so there's no way I can get all of it in one frame um, so before I get started you all know me my name's Canela Siraco for those of you who are new watching welcome to my channel if you are not subscribed, I would love it if you would hit that red subscription button and hit that notification bell. That way, every time I post a new video, you are notified. All right, so tonight, I am working on a massive triptych commission for a client of mine. So what I have here is a 24 by 24, a 24 by 36, and another 24 by 24. All right, now you can see here, I am using my furniture levelers. Um, I'm so glad I ended up getting a third set because clearly I needed it today. Um, I can't imagine trying to prop up, you know, this side or this corner or that corner with popsicle sticks um, to make sure everything is level. Um, these furniture stands are a complete and utter lifesaver. Um, and I used my husband's really big level uh, in order to make sure everything was a hundred percent level. You can find the furniture levelers in my Amazon shop. The link for my Amazon is in the description below. All right. So, um, another quick thing I wanted to mention, and I'll show you guys this at the end of the video, because I do want to get this one started. Um, starting today, there is going to be a huge Loli Vefi um, sale and it is a package. Um, so it's a kind of like a gift package where you're going to save some pretty big bucks. All right. Um, at the end of this video, I am going to show you all the products that are in this, um, let's call it a kit or a bundle. Um, and there's going to be some pretty good savings and I'll tell you what those savings are at the end of the video. So if you are interested, there's going to be silicone mats, the squeeze bottles, uh, the stir sticks, all kinds of stuff at a very good discounted price. Plus you will get my extra 10% off discount. So that's an even bigger savings. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see what is in this package and how much it's going to be. And there's only a hundred of these kits available okay so stay tuned to the end of this video all right i'm gonna get started i'm extremely nervous i always am when i'm doing really big pieces like this uh, i'm like petrified because i just don't want to screw it up right so you can see i've already done um, my wispy designs and how i want my composition to look like and let's start with the colors so for for starters um, I had to mix a lot of white paint for my base. Um, I don't know how much, I didn't know how much I would need. <laughs> so I figured better safe than sorry um, and mix too much than not enough because I could always save this for a future pour. Um, so I made a big pitcher full of my base paint. Um, yeah, that's a lot of base paint, okay? Um, but again, I wasn't sure how much I was going to need and I didn't want to run out and look, I'm using a painter's stick to stir it because there's just so much. So, um, whatever's left over, I'm going to bo bottle it up and use it for future pours. So what it is, is my Amsterdam's titanium light. That is the base. Here, I'll stretch over so you guys can see Amsterdam titanium white. All right, so that is my base paint. That's a lot of paint, let me tell you. It took me a long time to mix that, which is what is in here. Um, it's the same thing, Amsterdam Titanium White. All my paints are mixed with water and Floetrol. 
all right? And you can find those ratios in video number 63. I will link it up here at the top, <laughs> all right? So um, I just like pouring out of this because I feel comfortable knowing how to pour out. If I pour it out of this, I'm gonna have a big problem and I might over pour and flood it too much and we don't want that. And then in my squeeze bottle here is again, the same as my base, the same as here, but it's in a squeeze bottle so that I can do my edges, all right? Okay, I'm like really, really nervous here. Like no joke, I, you know, you guys think, oh, you've been doing this for so many years, but you know what, on a big piece like this, last thing I wanna do is muck it up and have to scrape it. So we don't wanna do that. Let's go with the colors. Dioxazine Violet by Holbein. I don't even know if you can see it all the way over there. Now, my client wanted red, but we're gonna go very light-handed with the red because red is a color that tends to take over quite a bit. So I'm gonna have to try and remember not to put too much red. So this is Carmine by Amsterdam. Then we have Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft, followed by Prussian Blue Thalo by Amsterdam. Then we have Iridescent Green Blue by Pebeo. Then we have Silver by Amsterdam. And topping it off, we've got Windsor Violet by Windsor and Newton. So those are my colors, very far away. I'm pretty sure you can see them very well. And because I'm doing a big piece, I'm going back to my old hair dryer, which also freaks me out because I haven't used this in a really long time. Um, I know you saw me use it for like one quick blowout on the black, the big black piece I did a couple of videos ago. Um, but it's been a long time since I've used this. Um, so I hope I still have the hang of it. It's like riding a bike. I hope I can still remember how to use this the way I use it properly. So, okay, I'm going to put my paints back in the order that they're supposed to go in. I don't want to mess that up because that's the order we agreed on. So I'm going to put these back and I'm going to flood my canvas and I'm going to super speed you guys up because um, this is going to take me a while. So let me see. It's 7.27 p.m. Let's see how long it's gonna take me to flood this, these three canvases. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, uh, it is 7.41, so that was like, what, 13 minutes? Oh, yeah, yeah, 13, 14 minutes. So that's done. Um, I'm freaking out because I'm running out of butane, and I said to myself today I was going to go to the hardware store and get butane, and I totally forgot. So I hope I have enough butane to pop my bubbles after I lay down my paints. Um, <laughs> all right, so I'm going to start with this canvas over here and luckily I, um, put on paper my composition so that I can copy it, but you can also see, I have some red, um, Sharpie lines here. So I kind of know which way I'm going, but let me get started with, um, just at least the first line and then, um, I'll know what I'm doing. So I need to concentrate on this part. So we start down here and what I wanted to do was end up here like that. And then from here, do a wispy out like that. So that's that one. And then over here, uh, it starts over here, but we're gonna end about here. So starts here and makes its way. Gosh, I kind of didn't do that right. No, I did it okay. All right, there. And then I have a wispy starting about here. 
So I'm going to do a wispy this way here, and then one is coming down this way here. Oh, I need my cheat sheet, hold on. And then from here, uh, it's gonna go about here. So from here, we go down like this with a wispy going this way. So there you have it. There is my design. Oh, this is, I don't know if you caught the uh, sped up version of me putting down my base paint, but like a goof, I was pouring out of the pitcher and I forgot to put the lid on the pitcher. So when I poured the paint, it just spilled all over my table. Um, wow, that is expanding big time. I hope that's not gonna be a problem. <laughs> Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, uh, all right, so now we're doing red. All right. Oh my goodness. And I know I said I was gonna be light-handed on the red, but after seeing what this purple is doing, I don't wanna be too light-handed and then it just doesn't show up at all because my client does want some red. So I'm, please cross your fingers for me. I'm like sick to my stomach, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Look, my red's disappearing into the purple. So, um, I'm, I'm a little scared. I'm not gonna lie. If you guys think that I do a pour all the time and I, you know, have no worries about it and I think, oh, everything's gonna be good. No, maybe like on a 12 by 12, but not on something of this size, of this magnitude. Um, I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty, uh, nervous right now. I'm a nervous, nervous Nelly. Um, that first purple, maybe I went a little too much with it, with the whole bind. I don't know. Um, it is what it is. Hopefully with all these other colors on top, luckily, thank goodness I put the whole bind on the bottom but my red is gone. I just hope it shows up when I blow it all out. Now, I'm worried it might not, but we shall see. I know it's there, I put a lot of it, so we'll see. Now, there's a lot of paint on here, obviously, because there is seven colors on this. Okay, two more, two more, and then hope to goodness I have enough butane to pop my bubbles. Why is my silver clogged? Oh, there we go. Unclogged. All right. Oh, these colors are going to be pretty. There's no doubt about that. I'm so nervous. I don't even have anything to say to you guys right now. Like, no stories nothing i'm just i just want this to work out and using the hair dryer that i haven't used in such a long time i hope i all right so this is another purple and i think i'm going to just go really light with it because i've got the whole by on the bottom oh I just, I don't even know what to say right now. I'm just gonna just keep going here. I don't know if I should put that red on the top a little bit. I'm afraid to, I am, I'm afraid because I don't want it to be dominant. All right, I had to put my hair dryer on the floor. Oh, let me pop the bubbles. Let's do that over here. this some white speckles showing up as I'm torching this my again I keep touching my apron this is so far away my apron keeps touching the canvas I did it before too 
Oh, I need a step stool. Note to self, go to hardware store tomorrow and buy butane. Holy smokes. Okay. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Don't touch the tip either. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start here in the center and I am gonna get my stool in case for some reason I need to reach over a little higher than I can. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna blow this way and I'm gonna just, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. So just watch and learn. <laughs> watch, watch and cross your fingers with me, okay? So let's just do that. Okay, and this one goes on high because the other one goes on low. Okay, let's go. Just do it. Just do it, but do it slowly. All right. One down, two to go, and I can see the red. So I'm super excited. I'm just gonna keep going before I jinx myself. All right, I'm moving over here now. Let's do this one. My hair dryer is on fire. <laughs> Should blow it, give it a minute to cool, but I can't. I really gotta finish this.
camera. Hold on. Okay, this is on fire, on fire, wow. I am standing up high to admire this. I love it and the red is there. Even though I put it second to the bottom, it still showed up, it's not dominant. It's all over here, 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 everywhere. Oh, I'm so happy with this. I am so happy with this. Let me see what's going on here. Oh, what do I do? Do I need to fix anything? All right, so we've got some, you know, matchy here. It's matchy here and I really enjoyed using that hair dryer again. It took a couple of seconds at the beginning to figure out you know, I had to hold it a little further back, um, you know, because it's way more powerful than the other one. All right, let's see. What do I want to do here? I don't think I want to do anything. Well, I am going to fix my edges. Um, it's probably going to take me a while, um, but I'm going to put you guys on pause. I'm going to fix my edges, make sure everything's covered. And I will be right back to show you guys a close-up. Be right back. All right, everybody. It's been about half an hour. I have fixed all my edges. I have scraped all my drips. Um, I've already gone ahead and done all that. Um, so I'm just going to start. I guess let's just start here. Uh, I don't even know where to start. I love it. It's so pretty. Um, and there's going to be shimmer in here. And it's going to dry so rich and so bold. And then this is going to get crystal resin. And it's going to be so nice. And you can see like there's a little bit of red there. It's also hiding in there. There's hints of it there. It's just, I'm so glad it, it came out. Maybe if I had put it maybe two colors up ahead. But you just don't know, right? You have no idea how it's going to blow out. And uh, that purple by Holbein um, is a really, really rich color. Now, I love those cluster of cells there. There's some more red and some more red and more red. So there's some more. It's definitely, I don't want to reach too far because I don't want my apron going into the painting but I'm super, super, super happy with this. I love it. And the metallic cobalt blue in this is so pretty too. And then the last piece, you'll see there's the red in there. There's some of it there. I'm really, I like it. Nice, rich red there. Some more cells and clusters. I like that there. All right, this is a big piece. This is gonna take a long time to dry, a really long time to dry. All right, so there you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three. I can't even get it all in one frame, even if I wanted to. Let's see. Oh, maybe I can if I don't trip. All right, let me turn the lights off and just do a quick with the flash. So I'm just going to do one piece. I'm not going to do all three because they're pretty much going to be all the same. But you'll see here, obviously, there's going to be shimmer. There's going to be a lot of shimmer in this because the silver was a metallic. The iridescent green blue was a metallic. So it's going to be pretty. Look at that. It's so pretty. It really is. Yeah, there's some more shimmer in there. So you get the idea. Look at that. Definite shimmer happening. All right, let's turn the lights back on. All right, everybody. So there you have it. Um, I would love to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Um, it's probably going to take five, six days to dry. Um, I hope it doesn't take that long because I got to do other videos, which I'll probably have to do on this end of the table. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you guys think. This is huge. I cannot wait till it dries. I cannot wait to resin it. And then I will show you guys the final piece when it's all resined and completed. Now on to the Loli Vefi um, kit. All right, so I'm going to put a picture on the screen and these are the goodies that you are going to get. And I'm going to read to you guys what the kit includes, all right? So this is a curated kit of some of my favorite stuff. It is going to be great as a Christmas gift, birthday gift, love gift, call it whatever you want gift, or even just gift it to yourself. You get the idea. The kit includes the must-haves for fluid art, and you get all of these products at more than 35% off. So you will get a jumbo silicone mat that is 23 by 31 inches. Then you will get a set of 10 150 mil M series squeeze bottles. Then you get a set of five M series maxi squeeze bottles. Then you will get two large plastic stirring spoons. Then you will get the regular stirring plastic stirring spoons. You can get a set of 10 of those. You will get a small silicone funnel and you will get 10 of the 2.5 ounce storage cups and you get a Loli Vefi tote. That's over $100 in items for only $65. That's right, over $100 worth of product for $65. But wait, there's more you can save an additional 10% off at checkout using code CANELA10. So you can save even more. So keep it in mind, there's only 100 of these kits available. Do not delay, do not forget, do not put it on hold. If you are interested in one of these kits and you want to save quite a few dollars, um, now is the time to get one. And don't forget, you can still save that extra 10%. So I'm going to list all those goodies in the description below. And um, you guys can see it there. I'll put it on all my social media. I'm going to put it on Instagram and Facebook as well. So you can check it out there as well. So those are the goodies. And like I said, there's only going to be 100 of them. So get it while you can. All right. So all of that for $65 and an extra 10% off using code CANELA10. So there you have it, my friends. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.